Now, after we've done all this work on kernel ridge regression and kernel least squares, I need to warn you that there is another algorithm called kernel regression, which is totally different. And in fact, it's much, much simpler. So with kernel regression, all you do is you take a bump and place that on each data point, And the height of the bump is exactly y for xi, okay? So I've drawn a bunch of, um, I've drawn a bunch of data points there in the first plot and then on the plot below it, I've just drawn a bump um, centered on each data point with, uh, with height yi. And then you just add them all up. And that's, that's all of kernel regression. So it's really like much simpler. And um, it doesn't involve any optimization. So you would really expect kernel ridge regression to perform better because it's actually globally optimized so that the values of the function match up to the y values in the data. Whereas um, for this method, there's absolutely no optimization. You just place a bump and add them up and, and just renormalize. Um, so it's kind of like a locally weighted, uh, like a locally weighted average. Um, so uh, yeah, so it's another another tool you could use, but um, I would I would recommend kernel ridge regression, of course. Um, so this is called a Nataraya Watson estimator. All right, thanks.